Welcome to the playroom. Nice to see all of you again. This week we will talk about our body. Now I want to introduce my friend to you. He's called Mike. Underneath his skin, there are a lot of different body organs. Organs are important as they carry out many key functions in our everyday lives, from digesting food to moving around, thinking, feeling, and breathing. In order to let Mike function well, can you help him to find his missing body organs? Okay, so let's get started. First, we find his missing heart. In order to put his heart back to his body, we have to count the number of syllables in the word heart. All words have syllables. A word might have one, two, three, four, or even more syllables. A syllable is like a beat. Do you know what a beat is? We can make a beat by clapping our hands. Get our hands up and let's practice one beat together. Okay, ready? Here we go. Well done. Now, let's try with the word heart. Heart has one syllable and therefore one beat. Now, everybody clap your hands to make one beat when I say the word heart. Okay, ready? Here we go. Heart. Excellent. Mike can get back his heart now. So his heart can bomb enough blood to different parts of his body for oxygen and nutrient supply. Next, we find another missing organ. Do you know which organ is it? It's the lung. How many syllables are there in the word lung? One. You're right. Lung has one syllable and therefore one beat. Now, everybody clap your hands to make one beat when I say the word lung. Okay, ready? Here we go. Lung. Good job. Mike can get back his lung now, so he's able to breathe freely. Let's see what organ we can find for him next. Do you know which organ is it? It's the liver. In order to put his liver back into his body, we have to count the number of syllables in the word liver. Can you tell me how many syllables there are in the word liver? Two. That's right. Liver has two syllables and therefore two beats. Now, everybody clap your hands to make two beats when I say the word liver. Okay, ready? Here we go. Liver. Excellent. Mike can get back his liver now, which helps him to clean his blood and store energy. He's still missing some body organs. Let's see what we can find for him. Which body organ is it? It's the stomach. Well done. We find his stomach. In order to put his stomach back into his body, we have to count the number of syllables in the word stomach. How many syllables are there in the word stomach? Two, exactly. Stomach has two syllables. Let's clap for the two parts of the word together. Here we go. Stomach. Good job. Stomach is really important for food digestion. Mike can get back his stomach now. This is the last body organ that he's missing. Do you know which organ is it? It's the intestine. Well done. In order to put his intestine back into his body, we have to count the number of syllables in the word intestine. How many syllables are there in the word intestine? Great. Three syllables. Intestines have three syllables. So let's clap three beats for the word intestine together. Here we go. Intestine. Wonderful. Mike can get back his intestine now. Intestines are really important for breaking down the food so that the body can use it for energy. Thank you for your help. Mike has already found all his missing organs and he can breathe, he can move around, 
different parts of his body can function really well. Mike is very happy now, so he goes to the beach for a walk with his friend, Peter. But sadly, Peter is accidentally kicked by a rock, so he falls down on the ground. Oh no, can you see? Peter's elbow is bleeding. So to help him dress his wound with a bandage, we have to count the number of syllables in the word elbow. Can you show me where your elbow is? Yes, this is our elbow. So how many syllables are there in the word elbow? Two, that's right. Elbow has two syllables, so it has two bits. Everybody, let's clap our hands to make the two bits when I say the word elbow. Here we go. Elbow. Great job. We helped him to dress his wound on his elbow using a bandage. Besides his elbow, can you see other parts of his body is also bleeding? His shoulder, you're right. Can you show me where your shoulders are? Yeah, these are our shoulders. So we have to count the number of syllables in the word shoulder. How many syllables are there in the word shoulder? Two, that's right. Shoulder has two syllables, so it has two bits. Everybody, let's clap our hands to make the two bits when I say the word shoulder. Okay, ready? Here we go. Shoulder. Excellent. The wound on his shoulder can be covered with a bandage. 